SJS Aron, Kony Day, in a computers.com. Otro video para ti hoy. Muy rapido. Let's cut to the chase. I have been trying for two days to get my printer to work. Will you please help? I just need help. I never had this problem before. When I start the print process, I get this message printer error, error code 0x97. <laughs> now, this individual was blaming his wife. <laughs> This clown said his printer worked and then he, I didn't include it in the blog post, but in his response he said, I think my wife messed with my printer. <laughs> yep, I'm glad I'm not married. Why the fuck would I marry one of these wretched feminazi American females? Oh, all right. Let me allow you to answer this question on your own. What do you think Fix this error and this problem with this Epson Workforce 3640 printer. I'll give you a few seconds. There are some clowns in this building that are fucking noisy, man. I hate this building. Have I told you that before? They never soundproof this building. It was, it's built like... Did you just hear that? This idiot below me is like making noises and he fucks around in the ceiling tiles and wants to like change the configuration of, of his office when you're not supposed to. It's in the lease and I don't want nothing to do with that. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. uh-uh. No, I learned long ago. Anyways, let me digress. I learned long ago that as a tenant... Just leave things the way they are. Because if you get caught, you know, changing, messing with the drywall, messing with the tiles, messing with the lighting, now nah, you're asking for a lawsuit and a, and a quick eviction. Especially if you look like me. Because I don't look like a pale-skinned European. So out the door I go if I dare fuck up even a little bit. One little fuck up and I'm gone. All right. It was the firmware. The firmware, now I investigated this, I performed some internet searches and investigated and this is the solution I came up with that I thought was the most logical and I wouldn't say easiest but acceptable. So click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my blog post at my website anacomputers.com where I have a direct link to the firmware update for this Epson 3640 workforce printer and it will hopefully fix that error code 0x97 now a couple of quick tips if you've never performed a firmware update I would treat them like a basic input output system updates I take them very seriously I don't fuck with shit I have a do not if it's not broke don't fix it mentality my philosophy as a computer technician if it's not broke do not fix it I don't go around Grading, updating firmware just for the fuck of it. No, there's no, no. Because it's similar to a BIOS update. And if something, it, it can go wrong. What can happen is you fuck up or the firmware update fails and you just brick the device. And the device is useless unless you like $200 printer, you know. Anyways, I digress. Another caveat is do not ever disconnect the power. Never disconnect the power on a device that is getting a firmware update. Never do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. And firmware is basically software, permanent software for hardware that is generally read-only. However, a lot of hardware devices you can update the firmware androids you can up the update firmware printers routers some switches blah 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 now here's a final tip before I run not literally you know what I'm saying I might go outside though it's nice and sunny and I don't burn in the Sun oh I don't burn in the Sun oh oh but you know who does burn in the Sun that's right, the pale-skinned Europeans that murdered 95% of my ancestors and stole this continent. They burn in the sun. 
Oh, but they claim that they're superior to me and they're supremacists. All right. My final tip. Now, I know I included it, so I don't know if I feel friendly enough to give you my final tip. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely, now, I don't want to digress about how things over time, not nearly as risky, but they're still risky. You can break your device. Then you have a $200 paperweight. I would definitely make sure that you use the exact firmware for your exact model. Double check. Make sure that the firmware that you're about to install and update and upgrade on your printer, the 3640, is that, that it is compatible with your printer. You can update firmware, Android firmware, you know, router, switches. Now, obviously, you cannot install a firmware update on an Android that's designed for an Epson 3640 workforce printer, but when it when it comes to the similar printer, like a you know, a similar model, maybe a 3740 if they even exist, you know what I'm saying? When it's a similar device printer or a similar device, and maybe the models are different, that's a gray area, and you could potentially brick your device. So just make certain that you have the exact firmware update that is compatible with your hardware. Adios!